and you got to be a little bit careful when you're picking these things because if you pull down on the branch too much what's up lazy dog fam hope all y'all are having an awesome day it is wednesday april 10th here in south georgia and i'm pretty excited because right here behind me we've got something that only happens every few years loads and loads of these delicious berries so it doesn't happen every year hasn't happened in the last couple years but every now and then this time of year this mulberry tree will show out so this tree blooms every single year in early spring but sometimes after it blooms we get a late frost that usually means no mulberries and sometimes the tree gets loaded down with berries and we get some bad weather and they all get knocked on the ground before they can ripen and so we've seen some pretty decent production from this tree over the last 10 or 11 years that we've lived here but i think this year it may be more loaded than it ever has been so we love these things we like eating them fresh off the tree brooklyn makes a pretty mean cobbler with these we also make a lot of jelly with these i'll tell you more about the jelly in a minute but if you've never had a mulberry looks a lot like a blackberry tastes a lot like a blackberry in my opinion but mulberries grow on a tree whereas blackberries grow on a bush unlike blackberries these don't have seeds in them but they do have a pretty long stem so you kind of have to eat around the stem when you eat one of these you can see the stem that's left there you could eat some of that stem but i usually pull it out when i'm eating them and there are a bunch of different mulberry cultivars out there there are white mulberries there are red mulberries and then you have these black mulberries so these start off red and then as they ripen they turn black and if you do a little search for mulberry trees on the google you'll find that there are dwarf mulberry varieties trees that don't get very big and then you've got full size varieties like this tree behind me now unfortunately i have no idea what this variety here is called because brooklyn's grandpa planted this tree long before we've moved here i have looked around online a bunch to try to find something similar i know it's not a pakistani or a pakistan mulberry variety those tend to be a lot more long and slender i'll try to put one of those up on the screen here so you can compare it to this one so it's not a pakistan mulberry variety the best thing i can come up with is that it's some type of persian mulberry those look a lot like these right here do however when i research persian mulberry varieties online they say that they just keep producing throughout the summer and that's not the case with this one here it produces one time in the spring and it's done it's never given us a second round of production so i can't figure it out looks like a persian mulberry but the production of this one is different than what i'm reading online now one thing that's tricky with mulberries is the harvest window is pretty short once these things ripen they will fall off the tree really easily you can look on the ground here and see tons of them that have fallen already you're never going to get them all you could come out here pick them 24 7 and you're still going to get mulberries that fall on the ground there's just no way to keep up with all of them and you've got all those there at the top that you can't get anyways and you got to be a little bit careful when you're picking these things because if you pull down on the branch too much kind of slingshots it back and it'll shake a bunch of those mulberries off the tree so you got to be delicate when you're pulling them off the branches otherwise you're going to shake all the other ripe ones off too now what i have seen some people do is lay some tarps down on the ground and then have a brave family member climb up in the tree and commence to shake in the tree all the mulberries fall down on the tarp and then you just scoop them up into your bowls or buckets I usually don't do that here we've got this fence that kind of runs right beside that tree so we'd have to put tarps on both sides it would take several tarps so we usually just pick them off the tree now another thing you may not know about mulberries if you never mess with them they will stain everything they touch you can see my fingertips 
are already getting stained after eating just a few of these things. Yesterday afternoon I picked a bunch of them and my hands were completely purple. It doesn't stay on there long, usually it wears off pretty quick. But it does stain them for a little while and it will stain your clothes as well. My boys are bad about not wearing shoes so they'll come out here and pick mulberries. We've got all those on the ground that I showed you earlier. By the time they're done their feet will be completely purple as well. And speaking of mulberry stains, I've got a funny story about that that wasn't very funny yesterday afternoon. So over the last week we've had some guys here redoing the boys bathroom putting down some new tile on the floor there. And the tile they put down has a white grout with it. Now my oldest child, Abram, is a lot like me, very analytical, calculated, cautious. But my middle child, Titus, you gotta keep a close eye on him because you never know what you're gonna find him doing. So yesterday afternoon, Brooklyn sent the boys outside to pick mulberries so she could finish up some work while Essie was taking a nap. I was doing some stuff in the greenhouse. Came inside for a minute to talk to Brooklyn. Heard the boys come in, didn't think anything of it. Walk outside our bedroom and there I see Titus on the floor of that bathroom with the new tile, with the white grout. Got a big old bowl full of mulberries. He has put water into the bowl and he is washing the mulberries on that floor. Now, like I said earlier, it was not funny yesterday. It's funny now, but it was not funny then because he came really close to staining that new white grout on that new tile. Nobody told him to wash those mulberries. We don't like to wash these things until we're ready to do something with them. I don't know where he got the idea, but he just thought they needed washing and he thought that was a mighty fine place to do it. Now I can't just pick on Titus here, so let me tell you what Abram did to make this all even funnier. So when Brooklyn sent the boys outside, she gave them each a bowl about this size right here and said, I'll give you a few dollars for every bowl of mulberries you pick. And it usually takes them about 20 minutes or so to fill up one of these bowls. So after the washing mulberries on the new tile crisis was averted, I came outside to pick up all the bowls of mulberries that I thought the boys had picked. And what I found was a ton of these laying on the ground full of mulberries. So Abram was trying to rig the system. He said this bowl was too big. It was gonna take him too long to fill this up. So he went in our Tupperware drawer and got about 10 or 15 of these right here and had them all laid on the ground filled up with mulberries. He thought he had made a ton of money yesterday afternoon because he filled up 10 or 15 bowls. So it's always something around here, especially when it comes to picking mulberries. Now, as I told you earlier in the video, we use the majority of these to make jelly. And we did kind of the first step of that last night. So we took all the ones we picked yesterday, we cook them down a little bit on the stove, soften them up a little bit, and then run them through a strainer. We don't want the stems in our jelly. Run them through a strainer and just get the juice. So we've got a couple mason jars of the juice in the fridge currently and this is what we use to make jelly and if you've never had mulberry jelly it is some amazing stuff we've actually got a recipe on our website at lazydogfarm.com the same recipe we'll be using to make as much mulberry jelly as we can because we don't get a harvest like this every single year we've been out of mulberry jelly for a year or so and that's why we're going to try to stock up as much as possible this year and it just so happens with this mulberry tree as loaded as it is right now we've got a pretty nasty storm coming through here tonight which will surely blow majority of these on the ground so i've got to get busy picking as many mulberries as i can before it gets dark so we can make as much jelly as we can so i hope you enjoyed the mulberry tails today and if you've got any idea what this variety might be or if you can point me in any kind of direction i would greatly appreciate it just remember tall tree this thing's about 25 foot tall or so not long and slender mulberries fat mulberries that look like blackberries and very early production early spring and that's the only production we get all year so if you've got any idea what variety it could be based on those characteristics i would love to know and if you want to see the last time this tree was loaded as much as it is now Watch this video right here. This is actually the second ever video we did on this Lazy Dog Farm channel. So it goes way on back. We had a great time on that video with all the kids picking mulberries. So check that out and we'll see you next time right here 
at Lazy Dog Farm.